She was the first United States citizen to be canonized. Really? Mm-hmm. Who was the second? I don't know. What does that matter? I don't know. Number two never matters, Spencer. Got it. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am... Not again. <laughs> Did you not think of a name again? Uh, I thought it would come to me as soon as we started talking. Why do you think things like that? Um, It's very easy. I'm Rudolph. Ugh, so cliche. I know. The red-nosed reindeer. And then we have Big Red over here, Frank. Wearing his 12 days of Christmas bow yeah. on the, must be the ninth day of Christmas? 10th. 10th, 11th, 12th, yes. Mm-hmm. Only three more. He's running out of styles. Looking a little samurai-esque today, though. Scottish Which, samurai. What's the sky? Oh, because of plaid? The tartan. The t- t- tartan. Um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of, um, I'm seeing a lot of memes or whatever that say, that are, that are talking about Rudolph and and they're saying um, like the guy who knows if you've been naughty or nice doesn't know that his reindeer was being bullied <laughs> or the reindeer. He wasn't yeah. his reindeer at that point, but I, I saw something else about it that was he only got value or no, he only was appreciated when he provided value. You're right. Which is unfair in itself. You're like, right. He should have been the reindeer who wasn't able to fly and still he couldn't been. even be part of the of yeah. the transport. Yeah. But it's like. Oh, Rudolph, now you can do something for... That's like yeah, when, when, right. when, when the kid you bullies ends up becoming famous. Yeah. And then you're like, hey, remember me? It's like, yeah, you shoved me in a locker. I know. But but worse than that, like you have to have, you have to have needed the bully for something. Like you don't want him, you don't want him. And then you find out that he, he works at the stadium where you want to get backstage tickets. And then you're like, oh, well, hey, hi. Wow, that's so cool that yeah. you're a nerd. And it's like, no. And then the worst part no. on top of it, we're even talking about like, he found value when mm-hmm. it said money or you got a job. Yeah. This was what he was getting praised was still an abnormality. Right. 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 So it's like you make fun of a, a kid for his big ears until you need to eavesdrop. And then it's like, right. hey, big ear, big ear, Ed. Yeah. Come over here and listen to us. That's so great that you can do that. It's actually bull- almost more bullying. Listen for us. And also, Poor Rudolph. and also, like, say, say, um, you use someone for their car or something. Oh, like, we don't like her, but she has a car, so she can be part of our our group. Yeah, our because she can she can drive us everywhere. Rudolph's only value was for a foggy Christmas Eve. That doesn't come up very often. That 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 might not even come up every year. Yeah, what happened next? What happened to the Christmas after Rudolph? The clear Christmas Eves, like you're not even invited. Chop liver again because we obviously didn't need you up to that point. Also. How was there no fog? Like, how long had they been doing this job and they had never encountered fog? That's true. I don't know. But um, happy Power Engineers Day to Russia. Mm -hmm. Russian Power Engineers Day? Russia celebrates Power Engineers Day today, December 22nd. What's um, a power engineer? They're the engineers who work with electricity. Like on the... uh, Power. Like, like I, I assume like a windmill? Not a windmill. What are the big ones called? A wind turbine? Yeah, but also just lights and wires. and. It's like wind turbines. Maybe dams. Why are you saying hard stuff? It, look, think of a light bulb or whatever. So like a big dam. The power company the gives you... <laughs> through it and it charges. The power energy. company gives um, economy, comfort, warmth, and light in our homes. Huh. Power company is who you pay for your electricity. But the power engineer is who works for the power company. Yeah, they figure all the stuff out and they don't get electrocuted. <sighs> not all. I mean, hopefully not. I'm sure there's been some. Probably been a lot. <gasps> I don't want to think about it. Been electrocuted. I don't want to think about that. It's also, um, it's it's sometimes, well, at least in Roman martyrology, it is St. Francis Xavier Cabrini Sviste. Oh, we talked about him. Okay, this is the confusion. So, you know Cabrini College. We live near it. Yeah, it's somewhere around here. First of all, now it's a university. Cabrini University. I didn't even know that happened. Good for them. They they, they, they upgraded from college to, <laughs> to university, right? So, I saw Francis Cabrini. No, f- sorry. Francis Xavier Cabrini. It's a woman. Huh? Right? So, I said, yes, it is a woman because it's Francis with an E. 
Francis with an E is a woman. Francis with an I is a man. Okay. All right. So I said, Francis. I can't touch his head anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. What am I supposed to rest my hand on? I said, Francis. Francis Xavier's a woman. Cabrini. I'm so confused. All right. It's different than St. Francis Xavier. Xavier. Yes. St. Francis. This nun took the name. This nun from Cabrini. No, her last name's Cabrini. This Cabrini nun said, I am going to take the name St. Francis, but I'm going to turn it into the feminine right, version. Right. And then I am going to be inducted into sainthood. Be famous in her own right. Yeah. So she was mother. She was mother Cabrini all okay. that time. Mother Cabrini. She was the first. I think we should call her St. Cabrini. Just to be like, I think it's so confusing. It really is. Maybe they do. I don't know. But I want to tell you something. She was the first United States citizen to be canonized. Really? Mm-hmm. Who was the second? I don't know. What does that matter? I don't know. Number two never matters, Spencer. Got it. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> yeah, I'm in flashbacks. Yeah. Um, first United States um, citizen to be canonized, which canonized means made a saint in the... Wait, um, before any man? It says the first United States citizen to be canonized. That's awesome. But it's also like she was canonized in 1946. That's not that long ago. There's not that many saints. There's a lot of saints. Not from now. Not from America. I'm, but I'm sure if you look at like how many saints there were in the last 300 years, it's not probably not a crazy amount. I know. Even when, when Mother Teresa became a saint, it was like it took a long time. Yeah. And Mother Catherine Drexel, who's also from our... Did she become a saint? Yeah, St. Catherine Drexel. I think she did. Um, who's also from our area. We got a lot of saints. We so saintly. We in the area. Someone we should in the be water. St. Louis or St. Augustine. Yeah. You know, like the uh, the saints is the... Um, New Orleans. The New Orleans saints. Should be the Philadelphia saints. It should. The, the greater Philadelphia area saints. Yeah. We could um, take them to court. And see how many saints are, do you actually have in the New Orleans area? I'm sure there's a reason they have the name besides just number of saints. We could still try it. I like being the Eagles because it's like we can be litigious. Bald Eagles, Philadelphia is like the birthplace of the Constitution or something. Yeah. Declaration of Independence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. American. It's the American symbol, and and yeah. we are the now nowadays we got old Ben Franklin as the uh, Sixers mascot. Or logo. I don't, they've really? changed the mascot Did so they? many times. Did they? Yeah. Sixers? It's supposed to just be the bell with the 76 and the crack? Yeah. Why are you saying Ben Franklin? Because now on a lot of their logos, they have really? Ben Franklin. And mm, ben, what are you doing out there? Yeah. But is he is he the mascot now? Of the 76ers? Yeah. I don't... It's they always, always had it. They always had a... It it's never... Like the dog... Hoopy or something? No, hip hop. <laughs> or was that the rabbit? Yeah. Hip hop was a rabbit. It's a rabbit. It's a dog or I don't know. Who cares? We'll have a mascot. They won yesterday. Episode one day because we actually know a mascot. I wish I was a mascot. That was always my dream. If you remember, you can be. I told you this a few podcasts ago. If only. Oh, your present. It's Advent still. Would you believe we're coming to the end of it? All right, your present. Wait, this was the last Sunday. Or it goes to the Sunday after Christmas. Was this the last sun? sun like uh, oh yeah, light, light it was the fourth Sunday of Advent. The last one to of course light it was. A you know we celebrated it really. Yeah, a lot. We had a wreath and a with songs and candles. Okay, this is something. This is this is not like something I got at Walgreens. This I hope it's is. I can eat. I'm kind of hungry. It's not. This is this was a challenge. You challenged me in one of the old podcasts, and as a gift to you, I want it to. I want it to. You know. Make you proud. So you challenged me to do something. Okay. And I did it. And Rubik's Cube? Yes. That's it. I did it. I hey. I did it. She did it, guys. Yep. I'm so happy that you did this. That wasn't an easy feat. I didn't think I could, but you believed in me. Okay, so it doesn't even move anymore. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Look. Why would you mess up my hard, hard work? Oh, sorry. There we go. Ah, it it took a while, but you want to look? Just don't look too close. Uh, we're looking close. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's weird. The camera makes like the oranges look a little different. That's awesome. We're gonna put that. I'm adding to my stuff over here. Okay. Put on the red side. Yeah. Good job. So, uh, how'd you do it? Now what polish. <laughs> 
You don't just to tell them. <laughs> no, I'm joking. How did I do it? I just I, YouTube videos. Okay. Um, YouTube videos and um, and practice and prayers. So yeah, if you had anything to say to our younger viewers on like sticking to something and putting your mind to something, it's very satisfying. I love it. That's it. And when you when you figure out a way to make all the sides the right color, you feel accomplished. Well, it looks nice. I figured out a way to make all the sides the right color. Nice. Thanks. It, it does look. Let me put it on your side. I don't. I don't have any kind of um things like that over on my side. Things, Lies and deceit. Things like that. Lies and deceit. That's uh, good though. You know what? What it tells you is if you need to get something done and you can't do it, sometimes you gotta think outside the box. Figure out a way to do it. Like in, in a way, right? I thought we weren't telling them. What we didn't tell them anything. Oh. All right, moving on. Let's move on from the Rubik's Cube. You don't want thing. to tell them how it how I did it. With nail polish? Yeah. She painted it, guys. Maybe, I, I thought that was pretty clear. It's not clear. They <laughs> Sometimes our viewers are only listening with one ear. Ah, uh, okay. You painted every side. I painted it with nail polish. <sighs> did, could, did you know? How, how soon did you know that I was... Um, as soon as you said I finished something. Because my sister, <laughs> probably 10 years ago... Did a, couldn't do a Rubik's Cube. And she went with the method of peeling off every They sticker. don't peel off anymore. Oh, see? Soon they're going to be non-paintable surfaces. They're, they're trying to outsmart you. I could have. Don't they come made? I could have yeah. bought a new one. You could have bought it. If you bought a new one, it would have genuinely surprised me. Oh, really? Yeah, it would have been I, like. I, I didn't want to waste the money. And I had the, I had all the colors with the nail polish. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Now it's like your custom Rubik's Cube. Yeah. And you can mess it up because obviously. No, no, well, no. Do you really think that I'm going to keep this for any length of time? Yeah, but, but here's a problem. What? If it, you mess it up now. It can never be done. It will never. Like before, oh, you have a, you have a, okay, you're already messing it up. Here, Am I? Me. I don't, I don't try to see it. <laughs> oh, you hate that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, if it was, if it's a regular Rubik's Cube, it doesn't matter if it is um scrambled up okay but this it's, is this it's is made right yeah this is painted so this is like something in its own right and then if you mess it up now it's just painted and messed up yeah those two things do not go together so thanks i had a lot of fun playing with that now i can't you can still play with it no I'm not touching i think it. it's bothering you what, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay i'm sorry no, i couldn't do it no, it's fine end of year admission i couldn't do it i did try to do it you're lucky I didn't break it in pieces because I was I was so tempted and I was pushing and um, uh, Sierra and Avalon were there and they were egging me on and they're like, break it, break it. And I was like, no, Spencer will be too mad. So for you, I painted it. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Why don't you just break it? No. Well, see, I'm not you. I'm going to throw you. it away. No, you're not. It's going to stay right here. I want someone to break it. No. Let me just try. This is what we call a... I learned that people with ADHD have impulse control. Listen, I want to tell you something. YouTube viewers never saw anyone break a, a Rubik's Cube on air. Yes, they, I'm sure they have. No, they haven't. We're not breaking it. We're breaking no, it. No, we're not. Please. No, if we break this, then I'm going to break something. That doesn't even make any I'll sense. Break the, I'll break their 100 that subscriber make, award. That's $100 million. Just break it. This is your ADD. day. We're doing... You know what my gift is? For you not to act out on your impulses. Thank you. Thank you, Advent. What time is it? All right. One word we? Wednesday. Oh, so now you can't break something and you're going to walk into One Word Wednesday with an attitude? Yeah. Guys, it is Wednesday, the third best time of the week. Um, second to only Thursday and Friday. Yeah. I guess that'll be third. It gets better and better. But on Wednesday, we have a little segment called One Word Wednesday. It's fantastic. And what we do is we pick a word, a word of a noun, right? Mm -hmm. Person, place, or thing. Yeah. It's a noun. And we just talk about it. We try to find some spiritual significance, maybe even use it as a spiritual metaphor for the great beyond, mm -hmm. the beyond the beyond. And uh, we just sort of have fun, sit back, try not to get mad about the Rubik's Cube. And uh, I'm breaking it before the show's over. I, I put it in my pocket. No. Can I see it? I don't have pockets. Please. Okay. What's her word? Huh? No, you're not breaking it. I'll be very sad if it's broken. Why? I like it. And now it's a piece of art. Okay. You're just trying to compliment me. <laughs> okay. So the word is bolt. Bolt. B-O-L-T, bolt. There was a children's show, a, ch a movie. About a dog. A, do a dog. Dog. 
John Travolta was the dog, and was Miley he? Cyrus was a character Cyrus. as well. As well. Cyrus. Uh, Bolt was the story of a dog who, uh, he was a superhero. Like, you know, um, say Paw Patrol uh, were real people, like real ca- real actors, characters. Yeah. And, and so Bolt thought he was a superhero because he was one on TV. So when he left the studio, he went he went to New York or something. He he's just a he's just a regular dog, and he was thinking he had superhero powers because he didn't realize it was like remember that movie with Jim Carrey. Wait, I I, I completely lost you. Remember I thought you were talking about real life this whole time, like a real life Bolt actor. And I'm like, Bolt was a cartoon. And I'm like, oh, they have a voice actor, like Bark. Remember the Truman Show with Jim Carrey? No, oh, it's famous. You you say no, like. Oh, okay. I understand now. Okay. So this is a you explain it in English. Well, I, I don't and know. Not I don't, in I don't, my I don't know if I understand it. Okay. So there's a dog, who, in this movie, is just a regular dog. Yes. But he's an actor dog. Yes. Like you, you see actor dogs in a lot of movies, like Airbud. Well, he's not. He's a cartoon. What? He's a cartoon though. I know, but oh, I'm saying yeah. like, it's a cartoon of a dog yes. like that, like as if he's Airbud, and his Airbud in his cartoon world is. A superhero. Right. He's done his gig. He gets a lot of pets. Good job. Your movie's successful. Goes to New York. Never realized it was a movie set. Thought he was still a superhero. Right. So Bolt, he's never a superhero? I don't think so. I didn't see the movie. But I think it's the hijinks of him going around the city and obviously it keeps... Trying to like save the day. Yeah, it keeps being revealed. I'm sure it ends up good. It's like a children's movie. Um, But that's... But I don't imagine. I don't think I need to watch it. I imagine he's not a superhero, right? But then um, maybe at one point he gets like dissuaded. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not good enough for anything. Right. But then there is some kind of problem that he actually does end up saving the day. And then it's like, right. you didn't never had powers, but you were a superhero. All along. Right. And then everyone hugs. Yeah. Um, But that's just, they just took that name. Um, But do you know what a bolt is? Uh, like nuts and bolts yeah uh, uh so a bolt is like a screw but the bolt needs the the nut on the end to it's it's dull a screw is pointy it, it, bolts completely rely on uh the washer or the nut yeah. to hold the reason um so it has bolt there's bolts in the um bible of course it's it's not a lot. There's probably under twenty mentions of bolts in the Bible, and um, probably three of them or, or less, maybe half. I don't know. Are going to be the bolts and gates, you know, yeah. all those instructions, and the other bolts are going to be bolts of lightning. Okay, which is a different bolt. And then there's also a bolt of fabric. If you go into, we talked about Joanne's fabric store last week. If you go into buy fabric, it comes on, you know, this long. I don't know if you've ever seen. Yeah, it's a bolt. You can buy the whole entire bolt, or you can have them pull out and cut some yardage for you so that bolt 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 in the bible now you're a rock climber you went rock climbing today i did so bolts are put into the sides of mountains they are um and left there they are okay there's rules about that and there's some people who frown upon that so the reason they frown upon it is because it's nature and you are going out there and you are, um, you you'll explain what bolts are in a second. But you know, you're you're doing something. You're changing nature and leaving. You know, yeah. you're at. What is this? You're not only supposed to take pictures and leave footprints and take pictures. That's all you're supposed to do. So, but rock climbers um, do set up bolts. There's a, I don't want to say crazy person, but there's a there's a menace who there's, goes and takes off the bolts, cuts the bolts off, because he's so mad about it, and like he's like, well, if you can put it in, I can take it out, and he's. He's he thinks he's a do-gooder and he's going around and he's pulling out the bolts and um, bolts are very expensive and very hard to put in mountains. Yeah. So these rock climbing people who share information and they'll yeah. say like, you know, it's never it's not even usually done by because where there's like permanent bolts, it's, it's usually will be like a group. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll have them set. Right. And um, then. Yeah. So. Yeah. So who is this guy? I think his last name is Snyder. It would be a Snyder. <laughs> Snyder. Wasn't but, Snyder that Nickelodeon guy who's up to no good? Nickel- Rob Schneider. Oh, that's funny. Rob Schneider is that actor from Start Live, but he was in all those crazy uh, movies. Who am I thinking about? But there is um, Snyder. Snyder was on, um, I believe, One Day at a Time. He was the menace plumber. 
But um, I'm thinking of the, the Nickelodeon guy who liked feet too much. Oh, you mean that kind of situation? I don't know. So there is ethics involved. There's a there's a Bolt Bible for for rock climbing, and they say you know we follow rules. They don't use them in national parks, top of climbing routes, natural climbing crags, wilderness area. Also, um, not in single use. Like so, like you just said, you wouldn't go around, like you're a single person who went a single route, and you yes, decide. it's. It's it's a it's a you you can tell it better but it's it's a helpful thing for because people yes. keep going the same. Okay. 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 So in rock climbing, yeah, there are obviously you can go to any rock formation and climb it, but there are like very popular on all scales. So not just talking about like El Capitan in um what is that Yellowstone? Um, there's just like uh, and so when you go out you would do most likely what's called lead climbing so if you're thinking of rock climbing right you have the person on the bottom or you have the two people okay. the one who's who both of you have harnesses on and they're holding you so if you fall they catch you right and you have to imagine in a in a, in a rock gym there's that top piece that the rope goes through and right. so you don't have that on just natural walls and so you have what's called lead climbing where up the entire root of the, the rock wall, there's the bolts with a carabiner in it. And you go up and at each point you latch your rope into mm. that carabiner and then you keep climbing. And so that way, when you fall, it's only ever from like 10 feet because you've latched into We have a carabiner podcast. And um, then you get to the top and that's how you, you lead climb. So it's, it's for that. You could probably look up on... on somewhere of where there's lead climbing routes okay there are devices that are temporary but those are for like cracks and stuff where you're mm-hmm. able to put your own right um thing in there and lock it in but yeah i mean it's it's very important and i don't get it why this guy's doing that because rock climbers i feel like of all groups love nature like it's not right. it's not a spray paint or something it's like mm. you're you're targeting a group whose whole hobby or sometimes occupation is revolved around national parks right. and and the great outdoors and keeping outdoors beautiful and going back to that like they hate a lot of these like real outdoor rock climbers don't like indoor gyms so like right. we want to be outside so i don't like that guy and i do like my bolts and um so you would trust a bolt that had been placed by a stranger that that sounds a little scary to me well they're like they're pretty secure but then on top of that with the lead climbing like i said the first one is the first one is you know like 10 feet or like five feet off the ground and you keep going up and up so if by the time you're up if one of them fails you'll have all the others to go back on and to keep going on your point like i said those bolts have been there so a person who's much more has a wherewithal on bolts and rocks Put them, put them in, right, and then everyone after can use them. So, right. for someone who's doing this, then it's like now you you have to keep trusting new bolts being used, right? And we don't like that. So those bolts don't wouldn't have anything holding it on the other side. I'm guessing because it's in the mountain, right? It's yeah. in the rock. It's in the rock. The rock. Yeah. So, um, do you have any spiritual? feelings about the word bolt beyond like i said the bible it is completely um bolt the door which would mean lock the door bolts of your gates which is you know the hardware of the gate and bolts of lightning why it's called a bolt of lightning i don't know because bolts to me seem heavy and like i said dull and a a bolt of lightning seems such like a sharp spear but i don't know about that i don't know either um no bolts. I can got. I, I I can I can do it. All um, right, Deuteronomy thirty three twenty five. Saved by Deuteronomy. The bolts of your gates will be iron and bronze, and your strength will equal your days. I don't know what Deuteronomy thirty three twenty five is about, but that sounds like something I would like. I would like the bolts of my gate to be iron and bronze, not paper and and you know, spaghetti. And well, my yeah, strength so will equal my days. If you want to talk about something with bolts, you got to talk about just security, right? Like sturdiness comfort like when you're climbing up a wall you know you want strong bolts because you just like you said aren't you scared that they're gonna fall out 
Yeah, you are. And so those bolts, they're not made of spaghetti. They're made of iron and bronze. They're secure. So the bolts in your life, things that are keeping you bolted to the wall, you want to make sure they're strong. Right. How do you do that? Put them in yourself. Mm. Check up on them. Mm. You know, you might have some rusty bolts in your life. Oh, it's holding me on. You're right. Oh, my spending is fine until something happens, till you fall, and then you really put your bolts to the test. You think you're mentally all there, you're mentally good? That's because you're still climbing the wall. You'll never know if that bolt is strong <laughs> until you take a little tumble. It's, I like what you're saying, but the way you're saying it is, is making me wonder about my bolts. I'm just saying, be careful. Um, Last time, the, the worst time to find out your bolt's no good is when you're falling... 9.8 meter per second squared down towards earth. Right. That's how fast you fall. That is, again, that's the bolt that goes into the mountain that doesn't have um, the hardware on the other side to lock it. But with a gate, you absolutely need that other piece because it would just fall straight out. Yeah. You know, just think of a gate. So you, you have the bolt that goes in and then you have the washer on yeah. the other side, which holds it tight. And the bolt... You know how they say like a, a chain is only as strong as the weakest link. Well, you could have the strongest bolt made out of iron, heavy, and but if there's nothing securing it, he's going to top heavy, fall straight out. Yeah, and I think you know if 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 we do like what is the difference between like a bolt and a screw is like I think a key component about the bolt is it's meant for two things to come together. Right. And so you ever have like a on a chair or something a bolt is loose. And there's just so much wiggle room. Yes. And I think if we look at it as like God, that uh, that wall, that stump that the fence that the fence goes into or whatever. The post. The post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you put your your the fences fence post, into. Yeah. Um, you want to keep that tight. And I, I talk about secure. Like, oh, how do you know it's secure? By tightening it. Right. You know, if you have, oh, this has a little bit of give to it. That's that fence is one hurricane away from not being a fence no mo. <laughs> right. Um so we don't know what the lightning bolts mean. The bolts of your gate. Um to Samuel twenty two thirteen. Out of the brightness of his presence, bolts of lightning blazed forth. That's probably why, like speaking of um superheroes like the dog bolt, um there's always lightning bolts, right? Yeah, it's shooting out, and it's always symbolizing, you know, power. But it's right in the Bible that they're when they're describing um, this his presence that bolts of lightning are bolts blazing of forth. Lightning. They're sturdy and powerful, just like bolts. And you can't you can't hide from a you can't hide from these bolts. You can't hide from a lightning. Um, you can't you get struck it, down. Well, you can, I guess, if you're in like a rubber basement, but <laughs> a rubber basement. All right, so to end the to end this bolt segment, um, two Samuel thirteen eighteen. So his servant put her out and bolted the door after her. So let's just bolt the door from from the from from this um this one word Wednesday. <laughs> bolt the door. Where are you going? I'm having my second sleep study. I can finally take. I'm be off house arrest after tonight. In twelve hours from now, I will no longer be in house arrest, and um, it's very exciting. So I'm going to go there tonight and I am going to sleep and um, yeah. And you're never going to know how much, like they don't share with you. Well, no, no. But you you do have to, it's not just go to sleep. You have to physically get give blood. I know. I was thinking that it's like they, they, they surprised me with it when they did it. It's yeah. like I got woken up and I told really? you guys in the last woken podcast. Woken up to do it? What? No, I woke up with a needle in my arm. No, you're lying. Yes, I'm lying. That's like illegal. I don't even know if you're at University of Pennsylvania. I don't know where <laughs> you're going. It was like an organ harvester. Yeah. No. Um, I woke up, you know, knocking on the door. And then in my last podcast, I said, I like jumped up right away. Like I'm ready to go. And then as soon as like they come in next, it's okay. Uh, you're good. At, you're okay with giving needles, right? And I'm like. Giving needles. Yeah. And then she's like, you take my blood, I'll take yours. And then we did some like kind of weird like ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, you know what I mean. And I gave You're okay blood. with giving blood. They're yeah. really, they really just spring stuff on you without your approval. Yeah, who knows what will happen tonight. I 
blink, hope, if, blink if you're in danger. I hope and I believe that you are helping science. And I'm going to just believe that. Oh, they also zapped my brain. I hope you're lying. No, I told you that. Zapped your brain? Yeah, they zapped my brain a bunch. Uh, what do you what do you what do you mean by this? It's like magnets or something. No, I don't and like, like it. And I was sitting here and so like No, I don't like it. Did that, it hurt? No. You just hear like click and then your your right hand goes Oh <gasps> no, you're lying. No, that's too much. It goes like You're lying. No. It's like look the, the the science. It's like so it's like the old hammer on the knee. Yeah. But it's it's magnet to the head. Yeah, it's like they try to find the position that like it's your thumb actually it's your thumb. Maybe that's why you couldn't think about bolts today. Oh my god. What if they, what if they deprogrammed you? What if it was the devil? You're right. That's having me do the study, and they're pulling out all of my spiritualness. Quick, give me the Bible. Uh. Wait, that was weird. It's all blank. It's it's all blank. Why is it all blank? <laughs> no, I'm just playing, guys. Um, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Walk through Thursday, where I will be able to read the Bible. Um. Yeah, see you then. Till then, uh, uh, go bolt on to your next video you're watching. Watch me break it. Stop it. Watch oh, me stop. Break it. Stop. <laughs>